Hey guys, it's Buddha Gem, and this is day eight of a video a day for 30 days. And tonight we're having another one of those nifty presidential debates. I'm sure you're all very excited on the edge of your seat, like who's gonna win? And uh, you know, I share your enthusiasm. Not really, but uh, <laughs> but that's what's going on. And I thought I'd mention one thing really, and that's the leaked debate agreement. That's the agreement that the two parties. Uh, come to as a you know prepare for these uh, you know professional wrestling style debates where everything's scripted basically um, I don't know if you've read it or not I'm gonna just go through a few of the bullet points um, it, it, you know because it's interesting just in the face it just in the way that it really reveals how scripted these things are how much effort is put in to remove any possibility of something spontaneous happening, right? Um, for instance, tonight's debate is actually dubbed one of those uh, town hall style debates where questions from real Americans, right? <laughs> what do you think the odds of somebody like me asking a question? Zero. So, um, here's a few, just a few of the bullet points. I'll throw a link in the sidebar if you haven't seen it yourself. Um, Number one, they aren't really numbered, but I'm just going through them. The candidates may not ask each other direct questions during any of the four debates. Now, uh, yeah, well, I'll just move on to the next one. Uh, the candidates, this is a weird one to me. The candidates shall not address each other with proposed pledges. <laughs> I don't know, like proposed, like, let's pledge to not raise taxes, or I don't know, what, you know, whatever. Um, for tonight's debate, the moderator will not ask follow-up questions or comment on either the questions asked by the audience or answers of the candidates during the debate. Again, it's you know it's about control, like you know controlling every little facet of this thing. Um, and you know, the wildfire, of course, is the audience members. So there's lots of stuff about them. Audience members shall not ask follow-up questions or otherwise participate in the extended discussion. And the audience member's microphone shall be turned off after he or she completes asking the question. You know, they even, and the next one even says, like, the commission shall take appropriate steps to cut off the microphone. You know, they want to make sure that, you know, these people that are going to ask the questions have been thoroughly vetted anyway, but just in case. They want to make sure that the mic's cut off, they're not allowed to participate. The total antithesis of any type, you know, uh, town hall style meeting, right? Um... And then, uh, <laughs> there's a few of them about movement that always strike me as weird. Um, there's one for the, the last presidential debate I won't go into, but for tonight, um, each candidate may move about in a pre-designated area as proposed by the commission and approved by each campaign and may not leave that area while the debate is underway. I, I don't know what they, I, I really, I, I'm sure they have their reasons, but it just, the, the movement, like, seems like such a weird one you know like you've got that space when you're over there but again uh, the memorandum of understanding I'll put a link in the sidebar <laughs> if you have any inkling that this is some real debate going on read this just understand that it's not a real debate these candidates have been vetted by the one percent funded by the one percent and will do the bidding of the one percent One's going to win, and it's going to be the guy who raises the most money. It's that simple. And I know a lot of you may be, oh, do I vote? Do I not vote? Chomsky's come out and said, hey, if I was in a, you know, a swing state, I'd vote for Obama. I, you know, um, I don't live in a swing state. New York's going to go to Obama. I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's a, you know, a decision you have to make, whether you vote or not, uh, and I agree with Chomsky on this part at least, definitely, is when he said, it should take y'all about 10 seconds, right? Figure it out, do it. That should not be the, <laughs> that, that should not be where your energy is being spent as far as political activism. Um, you, you're in a swing state and you think, okay, Obama's a lesser evil than Romney, whatever. I mean, if that's your thing, go for it. You know, we all have to make those decisions ourselves. I don't know, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it. But it shouldn't take you more than about a few minutes to figure it out. 
do it if you have to. Uh, I won't, and I certainly won't watch this debate. My feeling is friends don't let friends watch presidential debates, and I think I have to say the last presidential debate I saw was back when, uh, God, I think it was Ross Perot was running back in the 90s. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. And, uh, you know, I, I just don't get into it. But, again, just wanted to share that. The leaked debate agreement, you can Google it, I'm sure, and come up with it. Um, you know, and share it with your friends. I mean, it, it's just a complete farce, just like this election is as if uh, you and I really get to vote. And, uh, you know, lastly, I'll leave you with uh, the little tidbit I like to share with my friends when they're telling me who they're going to vote for. I, I like to remind them, no, you're not going to vote. You're not voting for Obama. You're not voting for Romney. There are only 538 Americans in this country that get to vote for president, and they're not part of the 99%. It's called the Electoral College, and it's a college that it's very hard to get into so yeah there it is hope you guys have a great night be back tomorrow with more awesome booty gym stuff <laughs> have a great night